Hey everybody, I really like Twitter. It's a great way to connect with people, find out what they're doing, share news and information with them, and then also get their news and information. And it's great when there's a disaster like Katrina or a hurricane, you can find out from people who are on the ground what's going on. It's just fascinating. But what I don't like about Twitter is this new pattern that emerged really for me just today and more toward the evening, it's phishing. Now, I don't mean like fishing. I mean uh, fishing where, well, first of all, I have, to have some, I have some coffee because I'm just exhausted. First of all, phishing is, in this case, spelled P-H-I-S-H-I-N-G. Phishing, not like phishing with a F. Big difference. This is a practice where someone sends you an email or a contact, or in the Twitter's case, a direct message that pretends to be safe but in point of fact, is not safe at all. What happens is that, well, you click on this link, like for example, I'm gonna cut away right over here. I'm cutting away to this footage that I took, where if you click on any one of these links that you see, it looks like it's legitimate, but then it takes you to a page that looks like a Twitter login page. It's even got a neat little video on it. But, and I didn't put my information, if you put your information in there, they people who built this thing immediately have your username and password. It's a criminally fraudulent practice. And all I know is that I've gotten four or five or six of these things, uh, and it's corresponded to a decrease in people following me by about maybe four or six, not dramatic, but there seems to be a direct correlation. I thought, I wonder if the people that are following me are responsible for doing this in some kind of way, even unknowingly. Uh, you know, it's really a terrible thing. And I'm wondering also if people who are using it but may not be familiar with how to deal with this or how to recognize these pages, and, but are really legitimate big users, like say, for example, I hate to pick on them, but Rich Sanchez of CNN. Rick, have you or your producers or your assistant line staff people check to make sure they didn't fill out one of these fraudulent documents and they're responsible for giving out sensitive information? If so, it could really wreck what you're trying to do at CNN. But at any rate, I want to know out there, who is doing this? I want to know if it's been tracked, caught. I know the Twitter people have made a note of it, but it's just got to stop. It's a terrible practice. Oh, so you're saying what should you do if you think that you might be the victim of this practice? Maybe you filled out a document and not know it, no, no, not known it. Now you're seeing me talk about it. Immediately go to your Twitter account and change your password. In fact, just change it anyway. Just swap it out. That's the first thing you should do. And uh, you should be okay if you do it right now. Other than that, I, I really don't know what else to tell you. Perhaps someone else can chime in on uh, and provide some information.